Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Lavender from ObduitLifestyle.com and today I'll be sharing my very fast video um, on college content. So, okay, if you're a little confused, I'm going to go ahead and kind of introduce my channel kind of. Um, so on here, I, I'll be sharing video um, content on college, career, DIY and lifestyle and that is in my channel banner. So if you're confused, don't be confused, it's all part of the mix. So today will be my very first um, college related video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So today I'll be sharing with you five simple tips that you can apply to have a phenomenal semester. So a little bit about myself. Um, I just recently graduated. I actually graduated um, in September of this year, actually. Um, I did my Bachelor of in International Business Administration and I had I was a double major student. I double majored in marketing and entrepreneurship. So all those like uh, tips I'll be sharing here are things that I used to get through school and I'm hoping we can help you out as well. So today will be like five tips to help you start your semester on the right footing, have a great semester, have a semester that is relatively stress-free and all that good stuff. Tip number one is to have a positive attitude. I know you've had this a million and one times and I know you're probably tired of hearing it, but it's because it's true. Attitude determines everything. Your attitude is how you think about something, right? How you feel towards it and therefore like your actions towards it as a result, right? That's that's your attitude. And if you have a negative attitude towards school, then how are you going to enjoy something that you hate, right? I mean, honestly, think about it. When was the last time you had a really good chat with someone that you hate, with someone that you despise, with someone that you can't stand? It makes no sense, right? It's exactly the same thing with most things and it's exactly the same thing with school. Like, you can have an incredible semester. You can you can actually love school. But you first have to fix like your attitude towards it. And that's simple. You just need to reflect and ask yourself why you feel about it. How you feel about it if you feel negatively that is right if you have a negative attitude towards college then you need to reflect on that and ask yourself why why you hate it right and then look at ways to change your attitude to make it a positive one otherwise none of the other tips actually matter if you if you hate school to begin with like none of the tips actually matter if you can't fix your attitude towards it and that was a little harsh but it's true <laughs> like one of the things, I'll give you a little story time. Before I joined SIU, I was in GQUAT and it wasn't working out for me. I, I was doing great academically, I was doing incredible, but I wasn't feeling the course anymore, right? And I knew, I knew that I wanted to do something different. I knew that I wanted to go into business, but I dreaded, I dreaded that USIU was where the answer was. I wasn't stoked about it at all. And I hated, I hated the idea of going there. I really did. And I had to, had to work on that because my goal was to get through school, get good grades, get a job, you know? So I had to ask myself, okay, well, what is important here? What are my priorities? Like the way to get to there, to get to the point where I'm employed, I'm financially stable, I'm financially independent. Like that was the path, going to SAU, doing the course that I wanted to do and doing well, well enough to be able to stand on my own two feet. So that's the best advice that I can give you as well. You simply have to reflect on those feelings. If you hate school, it's not going to magically go away on its own. You have to work at it proactively. And it simply starts by asking yourself why you feel the way you feel and then work from there because the goal is to have a positive attitude so once you start working at it things will fall into place the second tip to making sure like to setting yourself up for an incredible semester is to sort out your financial issues okay let me see if this is relatable to you have you ever been in the middle of class when some guy from finance came in called a bunch of names and they all had to step out of the classroom i don't know if you've been through that but I have witnessed that several times and the problem with that is that it interrupts your like your flow, the flow of your semester, right? 
it's something that will disrupt your mind interrupt your focus and possibly derail you why because it plays on your emotions right so it's a great idea to have um a conversation a financial conversation with your sponsors um and if you're responsible for like you know paying your own fees if you're given the money and you have to search it out for yourself then that has to be the number one thing on your like priority list right and that's just something that you have to take seriously if you want to have a great semester like you need to deal with it the week before school starts so that by the time school is starting the water has settled the like the finance the finance office has the money or the money is being processed for your tuition especially now of course there are a lot of fees that come up you know computer lab fees activity fees insurance all those other fees however tuition fees should be your number one priority and that should be the number one thing on your mind when you're thinking about like um settling financial issues if you're a usa student then be sure to be on dpp that's the default payment um default payment plan and you can get that online i'll leave you all the resources below um i actually wrote a blog post about that so i will also link that for you in the comment section below but um for those who that doesn't apply to um, i'm pretty sure there's some sort of partial payment plan for most unis if not all unis so maybe inquire about that if you can't pay your whole tuition fee lump sum upfront at the start of the semester look into whether or not they have a partial payment a partial payment plan sort of system just to make sure that once your semester is rolling it's smooth sailing all the way through to the end the third thing you can do to make sure you have an incredible semester is prepare your mental health for the stresses of college I mean this video is not particularly meant for freshmen like if you're a freshman i have a ton of videos coming your way just not this one this one is for someone who's like probably like sophomore junior yeah so prepare yourself for the stresses of like college life right prepare yourself for the deadlines prepare yourself for the stresses of cuts and quizzes and assignments and group work that like that is that should be part of what you do when school breaks right you have the time to sit down and organize yourself and reflect on everything that happened last time and what you can do to have a best better semester this this time around and your mental health is such a huge part of whether or not you have a successful semester right because if you're burned out there's nothing you can do you're gonna stop attending class you're going to be too stressed out to study so you need to take care of yourself you need to take care of your mental health prepare for all the things that you know are coming the cuts are going to be coming if you're doing multiple courses then you know you're going to be doing multiple cuts in all your courses right um you know the finals are going to come through the midterms are going to come through so be sure to prepare your mindset for that prepare yourself mentally for that so that when that starts happening you're not overwhelmed you don't fall off the track right so like kind of like having that meeting with yourself is a huge part of setting yourself up for an incredible incredible semester the first thing you can do to have an incredible semester is to have a physical outlet this can be anything from swimming to aerobics classes to jogging in the mornings and evenings taking dance classes rollerblading roller skating hiking okay whatever you can get as creative as you want the point is that school is incredibly stressful as we've just tackled with the with the mental health point school is gonna be crazy stressful you already know and you need something to one take your mind off things and give you a moment to just focus on maybe just breathing in and out and give you an opportunity to produce those feel-good hormones those endorphins and dopamine for you to feel like you're recharged you can take on the next day and the day after that so make sure you have some sort of physical outlet and i'm gonna give you a tip and this is something that i I figured out close to the end of um my undergrad tenure and here's the thing you're gonna be tired and then you won't want to exercise and the lack of exercise will make you feel more tired so what is my point you'll be tired but exercise anyway i will say that again for the people in the back you'll be tired you will be exhausted you will be yawning on the treadmill or in your aerobics class but listen do it anyway that's the number one way to beat that fatigue is to get your body moving like it's it's definitely the best the best solution that i can tell you you're definitely a hundred percent you're gonna be tired but here's the thing exercise anyway 
Like that is the best advice that anyone could have told me because I didn't get it. I was like, how how do these people have the energy? Like I am I feel so dead and drain. Where where are you getting the energy to go to like a one one and a half hour aerobics class? But here's the thing, they're tired too. They are tired, they're yawning, they wanna die, but do it anyway. It is good for you. It's good for your mental health, it's good for your body, it's good for your brain, it's just good for your general well being. So I hope that helps. The fifth and final tip is to get enough sleep. As I've said before, this video is not for first impression. This is for like sophomores and juniors. So you already know that at this stage in life, going to sleep is not as simple as crawling into your bed and falling asleep. You know, if you're a type A student, going to sleep means stressing about assignment deadlines, stressing about cuts and quizzes, stressing about where your GPA is at, stressing about extra credit. That's what's going through your mind. You're probably thinking, oh my God, you've not done enough. You still have an assignment that you haven't done. There's an essay you forgot about. Those are the things that just, you know, are playing in a loop. And for everyone else, you're probably thinking, oh my God, there's a party that I'm missing. There's a family event that I have to attend. My friend has a birthday. You know, so you have to find a way to schedule your sleep. <laughs> I'm serious. It sounds ridiculous. It's like a baby's routine, right? But when you get to college, you realize that sleeping is something that actually falls through the cracks. Sometimes it just doesn't make crank. And that's bad for you because that's what makes us feel overwhelmed and burned out. And eventually that affects our attendance and then it starts affecting our grades. So you need to make sure that you prioritize sleep. Um, your body needs to rest. Your brain, which you need to succeed in an academic institution, also needs to rest and it's just good for your general well-being so you have to prioritize it and a great way to go about it is to set a specific time for going to bed and a specific time for waking up every day you have classes so that could be monday wednesday friday it could be monday wednesday saturday it could be monday tuesday wednesday thursday it just depends on your school routine um and on the days that you have classes so be sure to set a specific time for going to bed and a specific time for waking up and i promise you like the battle will be half won. yeah so i think that brings us to the end of this video to recap these are five tips to help you have a great semester tip number one is to make sure that you're working on your attitude your attitude is the most important thing and is the number one key to you succeeding. Your attitude is so important. Tip number two, finances. You have to figure out a way to sort out your finances. It is okay if you can't pay the lump sum at the start of the semester, it's totally okay. But make sure to inquire about what you can do to make sure that you're not disrupted and you don't have any disruptions thanks to the finance office during the semester. Um, tip number three is to make sure that you have you prepare yourself mentally for all the stresses that you know are going to come at you. You've been through this rodeo before. You already know what to expect. You already know that some members of your group are not going to pull their weight. You already know this. You just need to make sure that you're very well prepared for all the things that are going to come at you during the semester and prepare yourself mentally accordingly. The fourth tip was about um, making sure that you have some sort of physical outlet. You're going to be tired. You will be yawning throughout, but do it anyway. Get that exercise in. 30 minutes a day is all you need. You just need to move your body for 30 minutes a day. You can do it. It is not hard. I believe in you. Actually, it's a lie. It is hard. It's hard and you're not going to want to do it, but I promise you, it will be so good for you. It will be so good for your mental health. So just get it done. And the fifth and final tip is to make sure you get in those Zs. You need to sleep. Sometimes it will be, some days will be harder than others, but get into some sort of routine. Most people don't like routines. I eight routines but they are important and they help when stay balanced and on course so i think that's everything i will leave i will um link sorry the accompanying blog post in the comment section below so you can check that out for more details and additional resources and yeah that brings us to the end of this video if you made it to the end thank you so much and i will see you in the next one bye